Hey Yoda, Tinnigoto, hello and welcome back to another episode of Thorncraft 4.2 with Bertros. We worked on this thingy here last time, which takes a sentia that comes out of our wheat distillery, our moonshine distillery, and it brings it over to the Thormatorium and we've got it making balanced shards for us. Now, as you can see, I've put in some filtered tubes because I didn't realize this at the time. I, I originally decided last episode not to put these in. Uh, because I liked the smoke as it came along, but I've had to put them in because whenever this uh, g required something, it has a suction of 128, and so it would basically send, uh, it, it would be a specific of each aspect that it was questing at the time, so to start off it would request air, and it would send air suction all the way along all six of these tubes. Now we had a problem arise over here in that it requested aqua from one of these tubes, it requests it from all of them, but what happened is that because this thing generates aqua, what actually happened is that it went into here because the suction here would be slightly higher because the tube is slightly shorter I believe. So what happened is that aqua actually got stuck in this area here which is a terra pipe only. So by putting a filter tube on here I prevented the suction from affecting uh, this little terra network over here. That's something that I did, I did wish that blah, blah, well. <laughs> That's something that I did not initially consider when I built this thing. So anyway, I've got some cool changes to go ahead and take a look at in the base today. Let's head up towards the top ring. I have done a little bit of building here off camera and I've now designed uh, the the pathway here and I'm pretty happy with this design I think this is what I'm gonna go for kind of using a serious creepers amber and great wood tactic here I think that works quite well and I've done some work well geez I've done some work here on the floor as well using silver wood as an extreme highlight and pretty much going for a similar design to what we have here on this uh, the top ring is what we're sort of calling it and I've also thrown in the sort of little um there's little stone areas on the edge and I've put in these glowstone lamps as well because when I sort of had these uh, stone bricks right here I was just like I need just a little bit of an extra little pop and so I went for well my favorite block in the game redstone lamps and yeah they really do a great job of adding that extra little pop if you ask me and I think I've done a little bit of work as well I'm just gathering a couple of extra essentials something is following me Oh dear, that is not a good sign. I, I would I'd assume that's not good. <laughs> Something evil? I need an adjective there. Anyway, yeah, just uh, go ahead and take a look at the Essentia levels if that's something that interests you. I'm running a little bit low on Aurum. Gonna need to get some of that at some point. No real way of getting that other than the Wisp, wisp Grinder. And I've also added a cool little area over here with the similar walkway set up. Welcome to my new research area. I set the bore up to go during a live stream and uh, we built this thing on camera. I've done a couple of ma uh, changes uh, since the live stream. Uh, we were playing around with uh, half slabs uh, around here, with the arcane stone brick half slabs, but I think just getting rid of them, I think it just looks a little bit better just having a three wide walkway is pretty cool. And yeah, so this is just the main area right here. I've also added the wand graveyard here with all of the various ones that we've retired over the time. I'm wondering and considering if I should put some signs up and sort of name all these things would be pretty awesome. <laughs> and I've got space to grow as well, assuming that we get that many ones in the future. I hope we do. There are going to be add-ons that we will be playing with. I've got the deconstruction table here. I'm planning on building at least another two because uh, you can use multiples at the same time. And then over here we have the main attraction. Now the research table itself isn't an odd numbered block, it is even numbered since two. So I've got the chest with the miscellaneous researching supplies right here. We have 24 knowledge fragments that I've been gathering and saving up. These things are really useful because if we come and take a look in the Thormonomicon down here by the research, you can take nine of these and generate a research note for uh, uh, something that you have, have yet to research. So yeah, I'm going to save those until we've basically uh, done everything in the table and in case there's something hiding perhaps in the Eldritch tab there might be 
something hiding that we don't quite have access to. It'd be really nice to save the knowledge fragments for that. I believe I have a knowledge fragment for golem iron plating that I'll have to work through, but that's a, just a purchasable bit. It actually gave an actual research note. Anyway, we've got a cool little build in mind today, though. Here's the thing. I was digging this out with the arcane boar, and I realized that if we go ahead and yeah, interact with this thing, there we go. So I've just got this pick in there for the moment, but I was using super duper mega flooper. The speed is plus eight, right? So it mines up pretty dang quick. I believe I've shown that in videos in the past. Now, there's a hopper here pulling items out of the chest that the boar is connected to, but it can't pull the items out fast enough. So about halfway through the actual mining of the hole, I have to, you know, stop, stop the boar with this lever just so the hopper can drain everything out. And that's not very good because that just means that it takes longer. So we're kind of not utilizing the speed that we've garnered with thanks to the efficiency that's on our pick here. So I came up with a cool little idea to see if I can try and fix that. The plan is the magic mirrors is going to come to come and save the day for us. The idea is we'll take the items. We won't even have a chest here. We'll basically be a magic mirror probably right where the hopper is. And that will send items over to a little storage facility where we're going to have a bunch of golems. So let's go ahead and get started with the magic mirrors. Oh, it looks like I might actually need to take a quick break to gather some essentials together. Yeah, that's possible. Just setting up the infusion altar here. It should be pretty much ready to go now. Let's get the Thormonomicon and check our essential requirements for these magic mirrors. Let's see. So 888 for one of these. Let's have a look. We've got eight of that. Very good. Uh, eight of that and eight of that, of course. So this is all ready to go. So let's just go ahead and get that going. What is the instability on that? It's negligible. So that thing's just going to be able to do itself no problem. And how's this doing? That is emptied out now. So let's just go ahead and show you guys on camera just how to send a censure to the various parts of the system. Right now it's still manual. Oh dear, don't do that. Yeah, right now the system is, for the most part, still manual, unfortunately. I would like to put arcane ears in here. Hopefully they can send redstone signals up. I, I haven't actually tested that yet. I will have to test that. But if they can, that'd be really awesome. So you just go ahead and open the valve by hand. And that is not working. The reason that is, is because I'm sloppy. You have to close these, otherwise the suction kind of contaminates the system. It was generating the ETR suction, and so the Prey Cantatio just can't do anything. Anyway, off that goes. That's the first one out of the way. And most of that should have already made its way over here. There we go. 32 in there now. It is filled up. Now let's go ahead and open the e tier tank, seeing as that one's just the closest. And the e tier is right here. And that went into here. Now I think this might actually fill up the jar, and you'll see what happens to the system once the jar fills up. Basically it'll lag the system a little bit. It'll kind of sort of get stuck, right? And then it sort of has to filter into here, and then it'll do that. And sometimes a piece of essentia will end up in there, which is absolutely fine, to be honest. And there we go, close that, and that will make the system into back into untyped mode. Close the valve, and now we need some alienis. So let's head over to the alienis tank, open up that jar, and that will definitely uh, override that jar. We'll be able to see that a little bit better. I guess while that's happening, we can go ahead and put the ingredients back in the infusion altar, like so. Very cool. Now we can probably just even get it going, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, so a sound's been cutting out on this thing recently. Uh, I think the reason that it's happening is because infusion is basically its own sound, but there are all sorts of other sounds like the essentia tubes that are all around here interfering. Instead of Thorncraft can't play multiple sound files simultaneously or something. Sort of a limitation with the mod itself. Anyway, that is two magic mirrors all set up and good to go for today's build. I think that's all of this cleared up as well. Let's just 
close the valves, something that I've gotten into trouble with myself for doing in the past. If you have multiple types of Essentia in this public network, it is very tricky to deal with. You kind of have to uh, open up valves and and then this will basically get gummed up with the wrong type of Essentia that won't go into that tank. So you then have to open up your other tank, which is it could be any other Essentia to be honest. It's just very tricky. It's a lot easier to keep it clear. So, we've got our magic mirrors now. The I So I already said the idea is we'll have our magic mirror sort of right here or right here or somewhere. So the items that just pop out of the arcane boar into the magic mirror. And I'm thinking of sending them down here, down to the bottom of the base to where... I've shown you guys this already to where I'm storing all of the various types of items that I have, or at least a lot of the more popular world blocks. I've got these sort of stored up down here. I'm not sure if I want to use these chests specifically. We've already got a decent number of these stone chests full. Actually, that one's it's not too bad, actually. And cobble, well, we're not actually generating cobble anymore. I think, actually, you know what, scratch that. I think we will. <laughs> So to do something like this, I'm just trying to think. Hmm. Do I want to use that like that? I'm just trying to think. No, I think that'll be okay. I'm th I'm thinking we'll be all good on this. So let's see. We're going to need a different type of golem as well. Sort of the the best golem that we know about for this, I believe, is the stone golem. They can carry 16, but it would actually kind of like to go a little bit overboard with this. And it seems like a good opportunity to go ahead and. Uh, research the next type of golem, iron golems. I'm assuming that that guy's going to be a little bit more beefy in terms of storage capacity. So let's head upstairs and get some more spiritus from our research thing. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention, but uh, there's one small downside to the researching area, and that is it's right above one of the loudest places in the base. So I, I might... Oh, okay, that's weak tooths. Let's get a bunch of that. I might be switching out uh, the location of our research thing to basically the opposite side of the base where it's a lot quieter and we'll have sort of a crafting area over here. So I don't think we have to do too much in terms of the size of the ring. Oh, the circle platform. There we go, I got the right word. Anyway, so now we have the requirements to learn about this. Like village golems, but only smarter and smaller and better. Right, because you do have, of course, in vanilla Minecraft, have the huge, ginormous iron golems. Anyway, these guys are extremely tough and strong, able to carry huge loads. Their weight, however, causes them to move quite slowly and sink in water. Okay, that's that's interesting. The other guys float. Right, oh. These guys require four of your main essentials and iron block. Ooh. <sighs> Oh man, that's expensive. They do have a carry, lim a carry limit of 32. They are slow. Well, otherwise they're pretty good. That iron block though is kind of expensive. Well, what did you expect? To be honest, it sort of it sort of makes sense from an iron golem standpoint. I don't really want to use those guys up. Actually, that is so expensive for something so menial. We could almost just what was the recipe for these? Got stone brick. Way cheaper way cheaper, almost as good. You could just use two stone brick golems in the place of a single iron golem. And it's just a lot cheaper in terms of the material. Hello, what are you guys doing in there? Do need stone bricks, so come with me. And oh man, the moon right there. That's cool. Yeah, so we, I think we'll go ahead and use stone golems for this build. And after many off-camera necessities, we are finally back. I am here in my diamond mining area. I have set up an area for our cute little stone golem guys to hang out. Pretty much a similar setup to the alchemy lab. We have a bunch of hoppers here connected up to chests below. It's pretty. It's a pretty basic setup. It doesn't need to look cool because you know it's just gonna. It's just a place of restoring old archers' blocks. We should have plenty of storage for gravel and. Cobble moving forward. The stone I'm not so sure about. We're almost filled up on stone as it is. Our fourth chest is a little bit filled up, so we may yet just be 
and moving the stone supply over to somewhere else but I have the magic mirrors set up to go here we have the items coming out and hopefully these guys will uh, pick the stuff up we just need to go through and filter these guys cool little I like how the interface changes for every uh, type of thing that we have is that even the right one dirt that is the right one dirt just making sure yeah the interface changes for each of these uh for each of the different golem types which i think is really awesome get it, get it, here we go <laughs> and then of course we're going to have uh, one extra stone golem here who is not filtered to pick up uh anything that miscellaneous that might drop got a bunch of spin materials here i made too many hoppers this is pretty much the last of my iron <laughs> i definitely need to go iron mining after this because holy cow man so much iron so much of this awesome iron right there slime ball Free slime! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> go away. There we go. So that's a total of five slime balls. That's pretty good. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going in the wrong direction. No, I haven't. I've gone to the right place. We need to go over here. I could have probably used the portable hole focus to actually do this a little bit quicker, but I've got the arcane ball set up as well using a bunch of these uh, Visa relays. Hopefully they're close enough, and I've got the magic mirror plugged in ready to go here now what we have to do is press the on button and hopefully this should work that's fine oh okay okay scratch that so it looks like it doesn't eject it with all that much force so let's get rid of you and i should probably do something like this just to have a place for the blocks to come out there we go so let's just clear this out a little bit so we can visualize it a little bit better let's try that again there we go Okay, looks like they're all going into the magic mirror, all good, fine, and dandies. And it's getting its Perditio and related essentials to make it mine really fast. Now let's see if that's actually working. Let's get our portable home focus out. And I know that if I go down about here, this turns out about the right spot. Okay, what's happening here? Yep. Okay, looks like... Okay, yeah, this guy's getting stone too, okay. You can't tell him to not take stone, is the thing. So, that is gonna happen. And this stone guy, how's he doing? Yeah, so he's in range of the hopper there. Ah, but there's a problem. The hopper's still gonna fill up. Okay, we might need to connect it up to a chest just to give it a good storage buffer. Yeah, but this guy should deal with anything that is not stone related. That is faux shizzle. Let's get my torch back. <laughs> this is pretty good. But yeah, it is getting stone through there, so we'll need to probably have an empty golem to take the stone out of here and put it at the right spot. That's something to keep in mind And these two guys. I put the mirror over here because I knew the stone golem was going to be the busiest by long shot. We may even just make this guy an iron golem because he's right there. Oh, we've got a bit of gravel coming through. It's a bit noisy, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's another torch coming through, okay. What am I mining out there, guy? Let's get back up there and have a look. XP orb. <laughs> but that looks to seem that seems to have done the trick. Definitely, we're gonna need to build a proper spot to actually uh, have blocks come in. But you know, even just something as ad hoc as is almost good enough. It just needs to be a little bit more bigger, I would say. Yeah, maybe a couple more golems and streamline the process somehow, but that seems to have solved our inventory woes. I've still got a bunch of chests down here that actually have, there's a little bit of iron in here, so that we'll need to head over to the ore doubler. But yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good here for an episode. This is a pretty cool little build. I've never seen anybody else uh, try something like that. Now, if you guys have done something like this, be sure to let me know. But man, what was Okay, looks like we're right beneath the cactus farm. Oh dear. Oh snap. That's gonna happen. <laughs> so the problem here is, what, what's happened is that it's mining out the stone that's holding up the sand, and the sand's falling and causing the cactus to die. So, oh dear. <laughs> that will need to be worked out. 
once this hole has been mined out. But yeah, that is it for this episode of Thorncraft 4.2 Bird Trolls. I think this is a pretty cool build. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Kia and I'll see you in the next video.